Hi folks, Dr. Bob McCauley, Energizing the Pineal Gland. Check out all my books on audible.com. Well, the pineal gland is right in the center of your brain, and um, they call it the third eye. And the reason they call it the third eye is because it senses light and darkness, and so you, it, it knows when you should be sleeping. And um, that's why when you look at people that work on the third shift in places, and they do it for even for many, many years, 25, 30 years, they've done studies on this, and you'll see that people uh, between the hours of 4 a.m. and 6 a.m., they crash. They just, the brain just shuts down completely, and they have a time somewhere in there where they just are like out of it. And that's because we're not nocturnal animals, and no matter what you do, uh, you're going to want to sleep during particular hours. And it's the third eye, the pineal gland, which is right in the center of your brain, um, that produces melatonin and senses that light and darkness, which is why they call it the third eye. And so um, it naturally will start producing melatonin. Now, when you should be asleep is between 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. Now, I'm guilty of not always being asleep, um, you know, by midnight or sometimes even later if I keep working too much. But um, I try to make sure I'm sleeping during those hours. Ideally, 10 p.m. or 2 a.m. is when you should be sleeping. That's when your body really produces all these brain chemicals, in particular melatonin. And one of the things that I take right before I go to bed is macuna. And macuna is, uh, is an herb. And I, I do about a 15% extract. That's L-DOPA. But that produces, uh, you know, helps produce HDH in the, gro uh, in the brain, a human growth hormone, which you produce two hours after REM sleep. So uh, there's all sorts of, uh, another thing I take right before I go to sleep is gold, liquid angstrom gold. Again, that's feeding the brain. Um, I also take mag team, magnesium l and I take my uh, Nutritonic Ultra formula because I want, I want when your brain is uh, sleeping and resting, I want to feed that brain and I want to energize it more than anything else. But to re-energize the pineal, uh, number one, I talked a few weeks ago about iodine decalcifying the pineal gland. That's good. Indium, uh, the mineral indium, that feeds the pineal gland. So I actually take that in the afternoon. Um, and I take platinum in the morning for the brain. So those are the three brain minerals. Um, platinum in the morning, indium in the afternoon, gold at night. But what I do for the, uh, for the, uh, to energize or reset the pineal gland, which is one, that's one of the keys to longevity, is I use a magnet. And I, just like that, and this is a neodymium magnet, so it's not just the magnet that you're going to see on your refrigerator. Uh, that's not nearly powerful enough. Uh, this is 1,850 Gauss. Sometimes I use a smaller one, 1,250 Gauss. Uh, Gauss is how you measure the strength of the, uh, of the magnet. So what I do very simply is I take a piece of sports tape, put it right there, and I just go to sleep. And let me tell you something. When I do that, I do it, I do it a lot. I do it almost every night, but sometimes I forget. But when you do that, wow, you just have the best night's sleep because what it's doing is it's energizing the pineal gland right in the center of your brain and um, it's make sure it's producing that melatonin. Um, I'm not really a fan of these melatonin supplements. Um, I think people can really abuse them. In fact, I know they abuse them. They take all sorts of huge amounts of this stuff. It's just not really the best thing, best way to get melatonin. You know, melatonin is a hormone, and so you should be taking it naturally and having your brain produce it as it's supposed to. Now, the other thing you can do, you can take two of these, and this I've never done this myself, but you can take one here, and then you can take, and again, by the way, green side, north side against the brain, against the skin, I should say. So, and then you can take one and put it right back here, Although I don't do that because I can't really figure out a way to get that on and leave it there. I mean, I'm not going to shave a back of my head and how am I going to attach it? Uh, I guess you could wrap something around the, you know, the head and hold it in place. But um, fortunately, there's no hair on my forehead. I'm not a Neanderthal. So I just put it right there and I just sleep with it throughout the, throughout the night. I just leave it. And in the morning, um, you know, I just take it off and I really feel very energized when I do that. But again, you're stimulating that pineal gland right in the center of the brain. Um, and again, I've talked about the hormones a lot. Iodine, uh, liquid angstrom iodine, I recommend that um, for the uh, uh, thyroid. And uh, that, you know, none of your glands in your body 
your endocrine system will not work if the thyroid is not working. And I get these people that come into my store and I talk to them and they've had that burned out. You know, they, they do that with radiation, these medical doctors. They can't figure out what to do, so they just remove it. And, um, you know, honestly, it's, it's barbaric. It's, it's talk about medieval. I mean, hey, w we don't know what to do here. Let's just remove this thing. They love taking the gallbladder out as though that doesn't do any function in the body, doesn't perform a function. Well, actually, it does. Um, I met a doctor once, and he says, uh, you need the heart, and, um, and you need the lungs and the brain, and the rest of it, you can take it out. You can take out anything else. I don't know. You could take out one of the kidneys. Uh, you could maybe, uh, you know, I don't think you could take out the liver, to be honest with you. But they just love, look at the gastric bypass. They just love taking things out. So they take out this thyroid. Well, this is the key to everything. Uh, but I still have people take iodine and they say they're fine. Um, but I just don't know how that works, to be honest with you. Because every drop of blood goes through the, uh, the thyroid every 15 minutes. So... At any rate, um, that's what I do. Very easy to do. Again, I do take all these other things right before I go to sleep. The ones I mentioned, the magtine, the macuna. Um, I take gold right before I go to sleep. Uh, that's great for the brain. Helps you to, to remember your dreams, but mainly it's brain regulation, sleep regulation. Um, that, and then I put that magnet right there, right between my eyes, the third eye. What you do with your meditation and everything, but that's why, because that's that's kind of the, the sacred, if you want to call it, the sacred uh, gland right in the center of the brain, the pineal. Dr. Bob, I'll see you guys next time. Hey folks, check out all my books on Amazon.com. Uh, I've written seven books now, uh, but this one's on Audible, Silver, the Miracle Mineral, End of Infectious Disease, uh, The Cure in the Mirror, Nature's Protocol for Surviving Cancer, that's on Audible, and then my most popular book, I have sold tens of thousands of these books through the years, never promoted it, never marketed it. It is the Miraculous Properties of Ionized Water, the definitive guide to the world's healthiest substance. Third edition, I revamped the whole thing. It's on Audible too. So those are all read by the author's voice, my voice, and I hope you like them.